All right, we're coming to you from Metropolitan Community College's Elkhorn Valley Campus. As always, this is Midwest Music Meltdown, the only local music TV show here in Omaha, Nebraska, dedicated to delivering local and regional music straight to you, the fans. I'm your host, Ryan Holt. We are brought to you by TMS, Theatrical Media Services, Audio Visions, Sailor's Grave Tattoo, and OmahaNightOutGuide.com. Thank you very much for your support. We're, uh, we're sitting here, Huskers are playing, uh, Brad Hoshaw and the Seven Deadlies are in the studio. Guys, uh, introduce yourself to the kids. I'm Brad Hoshaw. Scott Gata. My name's Matt Whipke. Greg Balderston. Thanks guys for coming out. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Um, start off just kind of talking about how the band came together. It's been a couple years now. Yeah, I guess our first show was in May of 2008. Um, at the waiting room, we were kind of, uh, I had uh, talked to the venue and we were going to do a, a one-time only band show, so I put together a group of musicians that I respected and and uh, rehearsed for it. We played the show in May and then we had such a good time, we just decided to keep doing it, so now it's uh, well, a couple years plus later and still having fun doing it. Yeah, we talked before the show, you, you started with uh, about nine guys. Mm -hmm. Now it's down to four. Um, just kind of talk about that whole process from from yeah. starting with such a big band to uh, kind of consolidating it a little bit. Well, it was kind of out of necessity. We we broke it down to a four piece. Um, originally, we had a uh, nine piece, which included two uh, exclusively background vocalists: mandolin, trumpet, keyboards, um, yeah, and then the four of us and. Uh, and it, it was a it was a great sound exactly what we what we wanted and the, we did that for the first year, and then when we, when it came to touring we just had to break it down to a four piece. Right, kind of hard to maintain all those people's schedules. Yeah, obviously. Definitely. Yeah, and and everybody plays in other bands too, so. Right, obviously um, Matt does. Are you still mm -hmm. doing the the three? I am. We actually had auditions. Uh, find the four best looking of the nine <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we, we won so it worked out yeah I, and, I and, and made it just by by hair by I hair. stayed in so you've been doing it a couple of years obviously mm -hmm. uh, you've recorded and stuff um, and that's been in the basement kind of you know well not really I wouldn't call it a basement recording because I feel like basement recordings are its own genre of, uh, of music in a way. It, it was recorded in a professional studio that happened to be in a basement. Okay. Um, uh, Scott Gaeta studio, studio actually. And uh, so we engineered there and then mixed at ARC with AJ Mogus and mastered with Doug Van Sloan at Focus Mastering and, and, uh, and put that out in February of 09. And just talk about the studio and the recording process a little bit. Um, actually, this is this is probably one of the easiest projects I've ever worked on. Um, it was a lost art of pre-production these days with a lot of bands, and right. fortunately, since we had been playing all the stuff out already, the arrangements were already done, and it was just a matter of coming in and playing it. So it was uh, pretty painless. You know, I think we we tracked the the whole project in you know you know these the, the the rhythm tracks and stuff in about a week, and then we had vocal sessions and some overdub sessions after that. But. Yeah, it was a pretty uh, smooth operation, I yeah. felt. Came cool. together quick. Well, we're smooth operators. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, well, uh, obviously the people want to hear you guys play some music. Um, we're going to start with Powder Nose, and then we're yeah. going to go to Another Man. Yeah. And uh, just kind of talk about those songs and where they came from. Sure. Um, Powder Nose... Uh, is uh, based on a, a bar I used to hang out at in Benson uh, that's no longer there. And I kind of wrote it as an anthem for my friends at the open mics where I, uh, where I made all those friends. And uh, kind of the uh, extracurricular activities that went on uh, in their personal lives and, and kind of the scene of that. A uh, little, little uh, I guess, a backhanded uh, compliment to... Uh, Everybody sings along, but it's not necessarily an optimistic song. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah. And uh, another man is uh, about a girl that that really didn't know what she wanted, um, just jumping from man to man, and 
I've never had any experience with that. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're rare. I understand. All right, guys, this is Brad Hoshaw and the Seven Deadlies, Midwest Music Meltdown, coming at you. Thanks for watching. The barkeep is high in the dreams that she I wonder what our moms would think If they knew we were here Drowning our tea So we'll drink one for the bartender, two for me, three, three for the girl caught staring, four, and for all my friends, their lines are cold, we got nowhere to go. a dream I've still got my legs but I can't feel my cheeks I wonder what Jesus would do if he caught us alone with powder nose We'll drink one for the bartender, two for me, three, three for the girl car staring, four, and for all my friends, their lines are cold, we've got nowhere to go. Got nowhere to go.